Welcome to the greatest 317 custom RSPS far chats. Today guys, we are going to be doing a server tour, checking it out and showing you guys some of the craziest highlights of this server. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. I'm also going to be giving away two $25 bonds in addition to two mystery boxes. All you're going to have to do is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and comment your in-game name. And then in addition to that, two mystery boxes to the first comment on today's video so comment quickly and let's get right into it the custom home area fully implemented and coded on feral chest looks absolutely epic some of the things in this area include the acid bath which of course you can go ahead and utilize they're also gonna have the max guild portal constant banks all around you're gonna have the chest the altar the nice portal right here and of course a bunch of other things including my favorite the watch tire wizard which helps you teleport and if you'd like to listen to some sweet sweet piano music you can do that as well on the church organ and then there's a path this is one out of the three crazy areas set up as part of the home area in here you're gonna find some very crazy statues like fatality statue the top donor of, of the month the final Onage Elite statue and the Hexus statue. You're also gonna find the Well of Goodwill in the center if you'd like to go ahead and donate to support the server. And of course, you can go ahead and increase the XP rates, the PK points, etc., etc., for all the players. You're also gonna find all the Slayer Masters, including Wilderness Slayer and even some max hit dummies. Now it's time for the two out of three custom area. So, this is actually the second one right here. This is a skilling area, which gives you mining, thieving, smithing, smelting, uh, and, and just a bunch of things. We can even see that here's the smithing cape that you can pick up, the uh, thieving cape, you got cooking right here, you got a bank, so very easy to maneuver around, and then you even got Bob Barter, the herbs guy. And last but not least, the third area is more of a shops and essentials area. Now, of course, some of those shops include like the Iron Man, the Makeover Mage, but you're also going to have things like the daily task manager, the emblem trader in terms of, you know, combat and gear. You're going to have all the combat supply stores uh, in, in, on the sidelines and just a bunch of things. Even the general store is very nicely set up right here in the center. You can quickly trade this guy. And what will he tell you? He will tell you he has a bunch of general items. But yeah, I like it. It's quite nice. It's very extremely useful, to be honest, and very neat. I just like how neat it is. I easily can come through, get what I need, and leave without having to really go search every single, you know, area to decide, oh, where is this shop and where is that one? Now it's time to go ahead and actually teleport in. So we're going to talk to this uh, mage right here, and you're going to see that there are plenty of monsters, bosses, Wilderness skilling, mini games, and city teleports. For bosses, you're gonna have things like Barrow Chest, Dagonoth King, Calvite Queen, God Wars, Corporal Beast, Dagonoth Mother, and a bunch of other ones. They even have Vorkath and Inferno. For monsters, a lot of the lower level bosses uh, are there. Things like rock crabs, cows, yaks, of course, all the things that you start off to train. Then you get into PvP. They have plenty of different wilderness teleports because they do want to emphasize that they do care about PVPers, PVMers, and even skillers. And so they've opened up the PVP opportunity for everybody. They have tons of multi zones. They even have, like, look, Ents Multi, Tower Castle, and it's really nice how it even labels if it is multi or not. Then they give you a nice little description and the drops and even teleports right here. So, for example, you can quickly click on anything. For example, Fun PK it tells you it's a Fun PK zone, PVP not applicable for recommended team size attack style all and difficulties easy to hard of course all the skilling teleports for every single skill plenty of mini game teleports i've even went to a few places they are amazing with their mini games they have raids raids 2 dominion raids stronghold raids dual arena major arena shaz and assault clan wars barrows fight case and pest control they even have warriors guild but they have so many raids and we'll do a quick look. Let's go to, for example, their stronghold raids. It will teleport you extremely quickly and boom, now you climb down. Now, of course, uh, I'm not the leader and I didn't make a clan yet, so I can't go down, but I will try and do that. So then we can jump right into the raid. All right, so you do also need two players to start, but this is fantastic. They have plenty of raids. 
and it's definitely nice to see that you will never get bored on Farchast. So I just went ahead and finished up my first ever Vorkath kill on Farchast, and it definitely feels really good. I did end up getting a few drops, but you can also examine it and it will tell you it's a Vorkath. They also have a fully working NPC drop table, so if you want to go ahead and type in Vorkath like this, you will see the drops. And the dust that you're here, please note that the drop viewer doesn't currently display Vorkath's drop table, so they are working on it. Yeah, I'm definitely not coming prepared. I just came in with literally Mage, so we're gonna go ahead and just check out Zalba. It says, Welcome to Zalba's Shrine, and now we're about to go back in. There we go, Zalba fully working, and uh, we'll try and get the kill and see what happens. And I died, but I was about to kill it. I can't believe this. Farchas also has loads of different custom armors, things like Tormented Bandos. Armadil chain skirts of course tormented as well. They have the full out infernal Gendemric robe. They have barrels of course, bandos, armadil. They even have dominion chest plates and tons of other things. Like look at this guys. This is absolutely amazing. But I thought I have to include these in the video because these look insane. Look at that. Even the sorcerer right here. In addition to all this, Bartest actually has a nice crazy looking chest where you can go ahead and actually open up a bunch of your keys and of course let's quickly spam click we are now out of inventory space and even a fountain upgrading and of course you can click on any of these to tell you for example the black party hat we can use 5% chance of actually making it into the infernal party hat so you get the black bee hat, the infernal and there's a 5% chance you get it and this works for pretty much all of their items. They have so many different upgrades to them. Even the Dragon Warhammer, if you add the Infernal, you get an Infernal Dragon Warhammer. Oh, and by the way, they have a full out trading post, also known as Grand Exchange, that is fully working as well. All right, guys, now when you first log in, I would definitely recommend you jump all the way to their starter dungeon portal. Now, when you go here, you're gonna have the ability to start killing some NPCs. And when you kill these NPCs, you're gonna get some of the keys I have in my inventory. For example, you wanna go ahead and kill the chickens and you will hope that you hopefully get a key out of them. Let's kill one quick chicken. So I went ahead and grabbed my Infernal Battle Axe which looks absolutely amazing and we're gonna try and one chop these chickens in the hopes of getting some type of key. All right, so kill count three, I actually got a Dominion key. Now we're gonna run back. So once you get a key, you wanna run back and there's gonna be four chests or in this case, yeah, three chests right here. All right, so you have the purple chest, the, the orange chest, and the rare chest, and of course, a red chest. We're going to start opening up these. Of course, the purple one gives you, I think, the least. Then comes the orange, and then comes the red. And of course, they all can give you some really good items there. Like, I got a ton of good supplies. And I'm pretty sure there's a blue chest somewhere that I haven't located yet. And for anybody curious, there is a really nice feature where if you click control on any type of armor or weapon, it tells you the exact stats of it and it works on basically anything. All right guys, now for the quest tab, you're gonna notice a few really cool things. Number one is the player information tab. Now if you click on it, you're gonna get a bunch of player points that you have, your player stats, for example, my daily task is incomplete, my bank value is 1.86 billion, which is probably the richest thing in game, inventory value, etc, etc, and even can tell you the bonus experience on and how many players. Then you're going to get the open NPC drop table. If you want to open some guides, you can also click on the open guides, open achievement. And of course, for achievements, they have a bunch including easy, medium, and hard. And with each one you get, you'll get some rewards that you complete, medium, and hard. And of course, let's go to the hardest is BCS Champion, Blood Champion Stadium champion and you get an AGS boys that's insane and even a champions game now it's time to switch on to some of these subcategories they have fully working achievements achievement diaries of course and they're Varrock for every single cities like Lumbridge, Reno, all of that and it even tells you how many diaries you've completed at the very bottom for the red subcategory the purple one you're gonna see you have a bunch of quests custom quests like cook's assistant and sheep shear but their pets on the server look absolutely amazing as well like this is the pet vanguard have a quick look all right guys now before we end off this video i want to open up four mystery boxes to see what i can get out of them just so you guys also know what you can get the first one i get a dark bow absolutely amazing and it has 95 range then we get the darog greater axe 
For the third one, we got a rune cone, and the last one, some dragon boots. That's gonna be the end of today's episode. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and comment your in-game name to enter the giveaway, and I'll see you in the next episode.